What's up, Boutique Babes? Welcome and welcome back to Sharon's Nail Boutique. Welcome if you are new. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And let's get right into this review, y'all. Hi, everybody. Welcome back, babes. As you can see, this is Lola's previous set that we just did. And we have a PR package from bornprettystore.com. This is our January's review so i did end up getting it just yesterday which unfortunately fell on february 1st so you can't control how the mail how quickly it gets here sometimes and it is what it is but without further ado let's get right into our package i know that she asked me which gel polish that i wanted to do and i did pick out or she asked me if i wanted to do the pastel gel polish kit and I said, absolutely, I would love to. So this is what the number is. If you want to look it up, it is MS55824. And then this is just the expiration. I think like the manufacturer's suggested expiration date, which, wow. Okay, so according to this, this is already or this is like the manufactured date. So this was made in November. So I'm assuming it's good for either 12 months or 24 months. Usually that's how it is. There are numbers at the top of this PLU code and it says 22111815578. So that's the back, that's what it looks like. And oh, okay, so 12 months. So it does last for 12 months. So this would be good technically until November 18th of 2023. Customer service. BornPrettyStore.com is usually really, really good with their customer service and their products. It does take a little while to get to you. However, their quality, Born Pretty Store's quality, since I mean, since I have started doing nails, they have always been a go to. Born Pretty Store, I've been using their products since 2015. And I've never had a bad product from them. I use stamping plates, all types of things. Stamping plates, chrome powders, brushes, you name it. I've probably used it by them. And I love their products, like I said. And I do not get compensated for these products. I do get sent their products. Every opinion of mine is not paid for. I give you my honest opinion, my honest review. That way you know whether you should buy it or not, for sure. And so far I love the packaging. I love their new style. I love their new logo. I really do. Um, I did absolutely love this other logo as well. The one with like the peacock feather. So I noticed that they're kind of trying to play off of the peacock. So they had the peacock feather on this previous one. Maybe they're going with both logos. Oh yeah, because it does look similar. The Born Pretty is written the same. So I really like that. I really like it, it's catchy. And it says all shine on me, six bottles, gel polish. It is shrink wrapped, so that's nice open this bad boy up I do like that it's sealed and packaged nicely so you're just gonna open it like so like a typical box and inside you have your directions same look as the box really cute and inside you have all your directions here so you have a area for prepping your nails so it says to wash your hands use a nail clipper to cut your nails to a certain length push back cuticles remove extra cuticles with a trimmer file and then clean again if you need to it gives you an option for magnetic nail gel polish how to apply normal gel polish and how to remove them if you want to there's all kinds of tools for this too. And to make it easier, you could file the surface. Then you could apply those foil 
with the cotton on it and then at the end put some cuticle oil and you're good to go and then they have like that scraping tool there that helps get the gel polish off also i've seen people use these the magic gel polish remover i've seen people use that actually on acrylic as well so i want to try that out actually so how to make nails long lasting results and just a kindly reminder where to how to store your products and everything because you do not want them going through hot coal hot coal hot coal so that's that inside here we have our beautiful bottles yes so we're gonna do some swatches and these are our bottles look at how pretty those are so cute and they are 10 mls okay so we have let's just get these out and the packaging once you're inside is not fancy the bottles are really cute though i love pack like the packaging i feel like is like i mean obviously you want to put your money into the quality of your product but at the same time the packaging is initially like what captures the person's look you know oh cool so they have the colors on the top that's pretty yay okay so we look to have ooh, very nice so we have bp cp01 bp c dash cp02 so that's probably form pretty and then dash CP02. Oh, maybe Born Pretty Dash Color Pink 02. Oh, no, because they're all CP. Maybe hmm. Color Product? I don't know. BP Dash CP01. BP Dash CP02. BP Dash CP03. BP Dash CP04. BP Dash CP05. BP Dash CP06. And I do want to label these, most likely. So this one here is CP or BP dash CP zero one. Born Pretty six piece macaroon gel polish set. This is BP CP01. Look at that color. Almost reminds me of like a like a butternut squash or something. Ooh, look at that coverage. Ooh, that's so pretty. We definitely gotta do a design with like some candy hearts using these or something. That would be really dope. So that's our first coat of BP dash CP01. It's actually really nice coverage. I can't be mad at her. Hopefully on the second coat, it'll be like full, full coverage. So next we have our BP dash CP02 and she is a beautiful baby pink. Let's see what she looks like. Ooh, look at that. So pretty, so, so pretty. Okay, let's try her out. Ooh, nice. Wow, the coverage on this is nice. And this would absolutely be perfect for like a Frenchie, the tip of the Frenchie. Oh my goodness, on some nude or like some bubble yum pink acrylic. So that's our BP-CP02. 
our first coat on that. So pretty. Let's see how our second coat on BP dash CP01 looks. So second coat gives you full coverage, very nice. We're gonna do our BP-CP03, and that is our lavender. Let me get all these little things off there. Oh, I can't wait to see this color. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. These pastel colors are so pretty. And I'm actually loving this purple. That's a very pretty pastel lilac color. Really, really nice. These are gonna be super litty for doing like the candy hearts. And on Easter as well, look at that first coat. That is so gorgeous. So that's gonna go in the lamp and bake. We're gonna pull out our pink and do a second coat. We're gonna show you BP-CP01. Look at that. And it does have the sticky layer, so you do wanna clean these. So that is our BP-CP01. Let's do our BP-CP02. Turn on our bake. Let's do our second coat. What is with all these things in here? That's gross. Come on, you're messing up my gig here. Okay. So cute, I love it. Second coverage, beautiful on this pink. Beautiful. I'm thinking we should name these colors instead of just leaving them with the letters and numbers. What do y'all think? Second coat, gorge. Okay, let's do BP-CP04, which is the baby blue, or pastel blue, which is my favorite color. Not necessarily pastel blue, but just blue in general. Okay, so. Let's just do our second coat of BP-CP03 real quick. Check her out. How beautiful is she? That is so nice. Wow. I love these. Very, very, very pigmented and beautiful. They are gorgeous. They're not too light. They're not too dark. They are perfect pastel colors. That is BP-CP03, and she is gorge. Here is our BP-CP02. We are going to do our BP-CP04 now. Oh wow, look at him. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. I don't know where all these like mint things are coming from. Probably my drawer. Don't y'all hate that when you get like hairs in the nail? That's like one of my most annoying things with nails. Like when I see stuff in the nail and I gotta like. <laughs> Oh, pretty. Okay. And we're gonna take our BP-CP05 and get him ready. And get CP -C our BP-CP06 ready. Let's just make sure that our other ones are doing okay. So this is our 
BP-CP02, our BP-CP03, and our 04 going in the lamp to bake. And now we're gonna do our BP-CP05. Look at him. Oh, he is gonna be so pretty for St. Patty's Day. Ooh. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, that's gonna be so cute for Easter too. And there's like, you could do so much design work with gel polishes now. I mean, technically you always have been. It's just that people, you know, especially nowadays, we're really starting to think outside the box, you know? Coming up with all these cool ideas and just different types of nail art and it's just so cool put him into the lamp to bake and we're gonna do our bp dash cp 06 but first we're gonna do another coat of our baby blue here this will be our second coat and our last coat These colors are just, I mean, you can do one coat, technically. You can do it, you can get away with it. For full, full coverage, I would recommend two, two, yeah, two coats. I don't know why I was double saying what I was saying, but yeah, you could do two coats and get full coverage with this gel polish. You see? Some of them are, you can, I think do one coat, but you can see some like patchiness a little bit. So that goes like that. We are going to do our second coat of our BP05. Ooh, that is so nice. This is such a pretty green color. It really is. Put him back in the lamp. And now we're gonna do our BP-CP06, which is our last color, and she is a peach. And she is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Just scrape some of that off. You don't wanna, you wanna be careful when you're doing your gel polishes because if you do them too thick, you wanna do long, even, thin strokes. Cause even if you have to like build it up a couple coats, you would rather do it that way because if you don't do it that way, you're gonna get, you see how it kinda like puddles in certain parts? You wanna make sure that you avoid stuff like that because that misshapes your nail. You have to come back in and like, file the edges which a lot of people do that anyways just to make sure but if you could avoid that wouldn't you want to you know what i mean so that is our first coat of our peach here bp cp 6 we're gonna put her in the lamp to bake and we're gonna take out our other ones and show you these as well so our bp cp 04 and BP-CP05. And these colors are just everything. They are so pretty. I'm gonna tighten those up now because we have our swatches and they are so pretty. Now I just gotta get me like a Born Pretty top coat. I don't think I have a Born Pretty top coat, honestly. These are so pretty. Let's clean these off real quickly while we're waiting for our other swatch. Super pretty. Super pretty. I like that there's no like rub off. Sometimes you get colors that when you go to clean them and maybe it's because they're not like fully, fully cured, but once they've been in the lamp for 
the recommended amount of time you should be able to pull them out and not have like any wipe off you know what i mean like there's a tiny bit but not like some colors that i've seen so we're gonna go in with our second coat to finish her off and see that's just one coat so that's really really nice coverage if you think about it i mean there are gel polishes out there where you get full full coverage on one coat but for the most part a lot of them are like two to three coat gels you know unless you're using like a jelly coverage where that's like a tinted color but mostly see-through so so that is our final coat i miss peachy here let's put her in And there you have it. These are our six colors. Well, five right here, and then our peach is the sixth. We're gonna mark these with a permanent marker, which I'm gonna go grab really quickly. BP dash CP zero three BP dash CP zero four BP dash CP zero five and finally, last but surely not least, we have BP CP06. Look at that. So, so pretty. So pretty. I love them. Absolutely love them. I would give this five out of five stars, honestly. And I haven't used them in like designs or anything like that yet, but just based off of this, yes, she's getting five out of five. Five out of five stars all the way. I have not, up until this point, have had any bad experiences with bornprettystore.com, like I've said. And their products have always, always worked exceptionally well with extensions, with regular nails with just about any type of nails you can really think of i mean if you want to use born pretty they are just amazing and i highly highly recommend them so i'm going to put her on our ring of swatches and stamping plate and glitters and we are just gonna go like this and put her on in order make sure that our customers and clients can see these colors oh well we want to take pictures of them first sharon
Thank you so much for watching, babes. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Until my next one. Bye, babes.